recording. In the name of the Father, the, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit instructs the hearts of the faithful, grant us by the same Holy Spirit to be truly wise and always to rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 A reading from the Holy Gospel according <coughs> to St. Matthew. Glory to Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of people, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues, and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake, as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say, for it will not be you who speak, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. The gospel. Of the gospel the of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Please go ahead, Italian, for the three pointers. The three pointers for today's gospel. Number one, Jesus, Jesus tells us, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> Jesus tells us that if we want to live our faith fully, we should be prepared to face the possible consequences of division in our families and even betrayal and persecution. Number two, if we want to remain faithful to God throughout our lives, then we must daily prepare ourselves physically, emotionally, spiritually. And one of the most important ways to do this is to have a meaningful prayer life. Number three, pray for the grace to remain faithful to Jesus, especially in times of temptations and trials. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tita Lynn. So the, the theme of today's gospel no, is about uh, the life of, uh, of uh, St. Stephen. It compares the life of Jesus. Ba? It's about persecution. It's about yes. standing for, for his own faith and even oh, dying for, him. for the right. Uh, so uh, about this uh, St. Stephen. Um, ito. Um, if we connect the gospel, no, it says na what uh, sabi ni Jesus, no, when they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say. Sabi ng gospel, you will be given at that moment what you are to say. For it will not only be you who speak, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. So, so in the in the um, uh, comparing this uh, gospel or connecting the today's gospel to the life of uh, of Saint Stephen, no? um, Stephen was a, a man of deep faith and was filled with the Holy Spirit. After he was appointed deacon, this is about the life of uh, Saint uh, Stephen. After he was appointed deacon, he began to preach with boldness. You know, very bold. Very brave, Sha. Um, Stephen debated them vigorously and proved himself to be full of wisdom and power, performing many signs and wonders in their mo in their midst. But this only led his listeners to become outraged to the point of seeking his death. It's still, it's about jealousy. As a result, they made false claims. Ito. False claims or accusations. 
that Stephen was preaching against the temple and the law of Moses. So in the act of the apostle, no, and we all know no, the history that he was stoned to death. Imagine. Um, mm -hmm. As mentioned above, the words our Lord speaks in the gospel today came to fruition in the life of St. Stephen. First of all, we see that Jesus Jesus' predict, uh, prediction that some of his followers will be handed over to death by their own kinsmen came true in the life of St. Stephen. Because you know why yeah. St. Stephen is the first martyr, first martyr, yeah. You will be given at that moment what you are to say, you know, Sabini Jesus. And that's exactly what happens to Saint, Saint Stephen. Stephen. Um, sec uh, secondly, he was inspired to fully surrender his spirit over to Jesus. And third, he was inspired to pray for his persecu uh, persecutors, persecutors and forgive them. He he was really following the footstep of J Jesus, no? Um because oh, um, uh, he was uh, persecuted because of false accusations against them, and yet he was so forgiving to to to, to the persecutors. So, um, so this is the life of Saint uh, of uh, Saint Stephen. No, so it says reflect today upon the profound truth that God never abandons us. Yes. In fact. When we suffer the most or endure persecution, rejection, or any form of mistreatment, God is especially present. Look Amen. at your own life. Look at your own life and consider those moments that you yes. find most challenging. Pray to St. Yes. Stephen and ask him to pray for you so that you will be open to, be in, to the inspired words and actions of our Lord when you need them most. So bottom line here is in front of any persecutions of mistreatment of, of, of this injustice in our life, Jesus gives us assurance that he is here with us. He is here with us always. Amen. That's, 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 that's his assurance. Hmm. So, and then we we might be we we might be asking, you no, know, why why did God allow this to happen to to uh, Stephen, his deacon, his follower, Bucket? And always the answer is there is a better life waiting for him. His mission is already accomplished. So at the age of ano forty five lang yata thirty five lang yata he was young. very young. He he was young, and then um, and then we, we question. No, we yeah we question. No, why did God allow this to happen to uh, to to this great follower of Him? So that so that siguro so that his life will be an example to us. Yes, a living uh, witness, uh, a, a a good example to us. No, uh, yes. for us to follow Amen. to understand. To follow to and to understand, and his uh, his um, um, his lesson is uh, forgive those who persecute you. Forgive those who mistreat you. Forgive those who are against you, bearing false witness against you. In our modern life, no, in one way or another, siguro no, we have experienced such no na naging marites ka, mga ganyan ba? Yes. Na may mga bad comments about <laughs> you, mga ganyan ba? Huh? I forgive true, you not. True. Forget about that. Bahala kayo. I'm not in charge of what you're <laughs> thinking. I'm in charge of what I'm doing. Yun na lang yeah. na class attitude, siguro. Right. <laughs> oh. Amen. 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 Tita Bell, may ano ka dyan, maganda din. Yeah, from Haro Cathedral. From Haro, oh, from Haro Cathedral. The feast of Stephen, who was martyred in Jerusalem about 35, has been celebrated on this day since the 4th century. A Greek-speaking Jew, Stephen was one of the seven appointed by the apostles for special services. He died confessing Christ and seeking divine mercy for those who were stoning him. Named in the Roman canon, the Eucharistic prayer one, he's remembered for preaching with wisdom and the spirit as one full of grace and power. 
who did great wonders and signs among the people. Collect, Lord God, we celebrate Saint Stephen's birth into heavenly glory, who even as he died, prayed for his persecutors, grant that we may follow his example and learn to love our enemies. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 Imagine, stoned to death. Stoned to death, yeah. Hindi ginstab, hindi, hindi siya ginstab na one time lang, pwede naman, or gunned down, pwede naman, pero stoned uh -huh. to death ba? He feels every, oh yes. Yeah, he, he, suffered. he suffered. He really suffered. Imagine, yeah. no, first blow of stone, and then second, yeah. and then third, hanggang sa namatay siya. So that's that's a gruesome kind of, of death. Tapos, ta, tapos more or less similar sila ni Jesus na falsely Jesus. accused. Uh -huh. Falsely yeah. accused. Falsely uh, persecuted, accused. Per, uh, persecuted. Persecuted. And yet very forgiving. He prayed and for his suffered. Mm -hmm. Pray for the, oh, he prayed for the uh, per, uh, persecutors. Can we do that? We pray for our persecutors. Nagmarite sa atin, we will pray for them. Mm. It takes a hard time. <laughs> it's hard, <laughs> but it's doable. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just, me, I'm, I'm speaking for myself. I mean, it's hard, but it would take time. It would take time. To the process. Oh, oh, it's, it's a long process. It's a long but process. It's not. It's not that easy. But if we will be able to do it, we have overcome. With God's help. And oh, that's oh. God. And, oh. it is and, and you know what? The There's Holy a. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, pr pray for it, and then yes. and then sabi nga nila is. Uh, it, it is not only time that heals all wounds. It's love. That, right, that will right. heal the wounds faster yeah. than time. Yeah. Faster than time. So, if you don't hate your persecutors, if you don't love them, at, um, I'm, if you if you if you cannot love your persecutor, don't hate them. Just don't love them, siguro. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Iba ang don't don't love kaysa hate. Eh. Di ba opposite of love is hate. Pero ang hate is parang very strong na. Pero just don't love them. Don't hate, but don't love. Yun lang siguro. But but as Christian as we are, no? as Christian as we are, uh, pray for them. Yes. It's so hard to love them. Yes. It's so hard. Very hard. A ako mismo, is a personalist victim. Ako ng mar marites. Eh. Na talagang, mm. talagang destroyed. Destroyed. Na destroyed. So if I look back, but if I look back, I say, "Oh, I'm sorry." The one who persecuted me, good luck, na lang sa inyo jan. Yes, my life. Oh, good luck, na lang. Yes. But it's true. God takes charge of them. I believe in the saying. You know the what the what God had said to us and had assured us. Be still. Uh, this is the statement he had said at the Exodus 14, verse 14. Be still, I'll take charge of your enemies. And I believe in that. I had in had trust everything. In that, that. Yeah. Yes. In other words, in trust everything. Yes. Na lang. yes. Uh -huh. Bahala ng ginoo. Yeah, that's right, right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So... Yes. Any so, anything else? Um, Tito Mani. We love to listen to Tito Mani. Closing prayer. Ara da sha. Closing prayer. Ay closing prayer. Oh wala pa ko. Hindi kita narinig Tito Mani, so please go ahead. <laughs> uh, no, they just uh, finished Christmas yesterday. 
but in the US is still Christmas, no? Or 26. 26 morning, huh? Uh, uh, well, it speaks here about martyrdom. No. Then Stephen, the first martyr. Well, as Father Danny always say that martyrdom is a privilege. It's not for Well, if we really, really you know, follow the steps of Christ, Jesus, we will meet the same fate, suffering, and even death. So I sent Stephen, I would uh, maybe follow of Jesus follower of Jesus. He endured to the land. Suffered oh, yeah. martyred. He did not give up. He stuck to his faith, his belief. And you really have strong faith and grace from God. To be able to withstand those temptations. Because the person when faced faced with death, his faith is not resolute. He may uh, waver in his faith. He may back down. No? There are instances, especially those, uh, well, this is for convenience, you know, those people working in other lands. Many, you know, we have heard this, giving up the faith for convenience. If you're working in a Muslim country, for convenience, for self and interest or benefits, you give up your faith and embrace the Muslim religion, the Muslim faith. Sometimes in face with uh, these kinds of uh, trials, maybe. Yeah. Sometimes we really have to give in. But martyrdom. I have read a book about saints. You know? There was a wife who suffered terribly from her husband. It was a battered wife. But, uh, persevered. She never left her. She persevered to the end. And in the last verse of this gospel says, whoever endures to the end will be saved. And that woman, that wife, became a saint. I just don't remember her name. And uh, as Father Danny usually says, a new uh, if it, uh, it is about the faith, you know. your faith is really, really tried. You don't give up. Die for your faith. That is martyrdom. Not all 
are martyrs. There are many ways to be to be a martyr. Here they say, you know, priest saying a mass, killed. It's murder, not martyrdom. Martyrdom is not about dying, really. It's how we live our life. Yes, that's not just dying, but to die for one's faith. That is martyrdom. To die daily. Of your uh, all things that make you sin, your, your weaknesses, your sinfulness. It's one form of martyrdom. Saint Stephen showed us he was the first Christian martyr. He was uh, strong, his faith was solid, and he never denied Christ or Jesus or God. He bore witness to all the teachings of Jesus. He never wavered in his faith. And if we can imitate that Paul, there is that promise. Salvation. Whoever endures to the end will be saved. Yun ang pangako eh. And God is always faithful in His promises. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Mr. Tumani. It's true, no? And those who endure will be saved. Those who endure the persecutions up to the end will be saved. Yes. And not all martyrs will die. Not all the believers, martyrs. No. We can we can be martyrs while still alive. Yes. No, it's true. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, so. Um, anything else? Record. Recording. Please go ahead, Tita Bex. Thoughts of the day from Matthew 10, chapter 10, verses 17 to 22. We celebrate today the feast of Saint Stephen. The first martyr who was killed due to his faith and fealty to Christ. It could be disconcerting that the day after we celebrate Christmas with this atmosphere of hope and joy in the birth of Christ, we somber can remember the travails, trials, tribulations, and troubles of Saint Stephen and all those who have suffered or died for Christ. Jesus has always been clear and 
unequivocal about the difficulties, disadvantages, and dangers of discipleship. Beware of people, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in the synagogues, and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father, his child, children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. In the midst of these dire warnings, Jesus instills in us the courage to face our ordeals and predicaments with the assurance that the Holy Spirit will give us the strength to walk faithfully in his way. Pray for the grace of total trust and complete confidence in Christ and his creed. So we be committed, constant, and consistent in complying with his command to love God and neighbor, for whoever endures to the end will be saved. Amen. 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 Thank you very Amen. much. Oh, You're welcome. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Very yeah. beautiful thought for the day about, about this uh, persecution. So you know what? And, and the, the most common per persecution or difficulties that you know when faced with the uh, with the uh, doing discipleship, especially sa our loved ones, especially sa atin family, or yeah, people, uh, uh, or loved ones, okay. or loved ones yes. natin surrounding us ba? May may isa jan, isa or dalawa jan na talagang magopos sa you <laughs> in in any way, in any shape or form sure. or any intensity. May may talaga may ano? So yun ang yes. isang challenge jan na within the family may mag-oppose sa you ba that's right right so right. so uh, yeah uh, um tita nick may may ano din ako maging padala sa you din sa yeah, sa I pm thought... yeah oh, please please go ahead oh, maganda din itong itong reflection jun ha ha oh, okay. reflection maganda din ha okay what motivates a person to give his life to Jesus? It's the fidelity to the mission of Jesus, and it's the love for Jesus. <clears throat> for many of us, it's hard to think that there are people who are willing to give their life for Jesus, but they really are unsung heroes who will willingly give their life for the mission of Jesus. Another reality of life is this. Those who humbly continue the mission of Jesus are oftentimes persecuted also. Let us think about the many martyrs of the church who shed their blood for Jesus' mission. There are many of them. Some became saints and some silently went to heaven. They never wavered in their fidelity to the mission of Jesus. They continued amidst the hardship and persecution. Let us say, for example, what if we would also be called to witness for Jesus inside our respective families? Yeah. Can we take the risk of speaking about the teachings of Jesus even if it's unpopular to the majority of our family members, a faithful follower will never be afraid to speak about Jesus. For to speak for Jesus' teachings is always right. But we must also do it in such a way that we do it with a mindset of humility, gentleness, and love. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to successfully share Jesus. Amen. 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 That's from Marino das Marinas. Yeah. So the biggest challenge talaga is uh, discipleship with our, within our family, family. na may mag-oppose yan talaga. 
-hmm. in some cases, hindi naman lahat na cases, pero when faced with this reality ba, may mga may mga family members or loved ones na talagang mag-oppose na you don't you uh, whatever you say ba uh, whatever you you believe and let, let them know ba talagang may mag-oppose niyan and, and it's a big challenge um, please take over tita bells tita bell tita bell uh, Uh, very very poor ang signal ko no? very hindi poor ma... signal no okay oh, very poor uh -huh. please take over ha huh? uh -huh. uh -huh. are we are we having our closing prayer now tita belen if there are no oh, more okay yes tita Bell. okay okay, okay. Uh, righteous father we thank you that you shower us with your favor and always do what is best for us we are so blessed because of your grace we thank you for the truths we have learned today May your grace be with us always. Amen. 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 Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now, and ever shall be. Word without end. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good evening, and good, 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 good morning. Good evening and good morning. 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 Good